<coughs> I'm not even going to say anything, really. Just going to show that I badge off like I do almost at the start of every single episode. As yes, yesterday I took a break. I had, if I can show you correctly, because I haven't still took it off. I have been washed, but I've still got it on my arm. The vaccination for the, well, you know what it is. I can't say it on YouTube, but of course, get yours done yourselves. As today, we move on after England's heroics to the next episode and the penultimate one, but could be the league winning one of the West Ham save. Yes, guys, welcome back. It really could be the second to last one because we have four games today and I think that's it all done. So we start with Villa on the 27th of April 2024, which of course is a bit of a scouting mission if you get where I'm coming from. Watch the last episode if you don't or just look at the screen for the cup results as after that we have Fulham, definitely simmed. We have Notts Forest, which may be played. I think it actually might be played because then we have Liverpool after and I'd rather play loads of games today and not make it the finale because we could just do five games, two simmed, and play Villa in the FA Cup final. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to save that for an extra episode. Do, of course, the roundup in that extra episode as we play them on the 18th in the FA Cup final. But, of course, to me, there's only one thing that matters today, and that is the Premier League. As I'll click on it, show you in depth as we have Villa first, of course, who are fourth as well. No easy walkover. You can see the league right here. We are top over Man United. On the same points, just on goal difference by eight goals at the moment, but we have a game in hand. So we've got to make sure we win all four out of four today. We have to try and do it as we have Liverpool as well today. So we play third, fourth. Then who are the other teams? It's Fulham and Notts Forest. Fulham are 17th and Notts Forest are 18th. So they'll, them two will be uh, scrapping to stay up. So the no easy games, literally none are easy today as Villa are a hard team as well as we have a little bit of tiredness in our squad. We're going to make one big change though for this next game as Dragowski's in goal, Klosterman, Diop, Senesi and Ahrens and I don't like Diop's fitness with Rice and Suchek, Nkuku, Cunha and Hammond with Daka up front, their pace merchant need to win. And let's have a look at this Villa team if it's going to show us, it is. It's Likovic in goal. Decent keeper at the Euros. Montiel, Matip, Alaba and Dyer. Eric Dyer now at Villa. Guimaraes, Paina and Sanson with Gomez. Jack Grealish is still there. He's held off offers from Manchester City. And Bertrand Traore as Grealish is actually up front. Decent little test of this game. And I say a little. The fourth. And they have us in the cup afterwards. So they'll be wanting to get one up on us. Whilst we're on a scouting mission trying to win this league title today as Montiel... Straight back to Livkovic. I said he was a decent keeper. He actually conceded five to Spain. So I know he can let goals in. But let's try and get at them, shall we? As Sanson tackles Suchek. Had the ball but released it straight away as now Maggi Gomez has a bit of a knock on him as Klosterman's to come in, uh, come in forward to run away with this. He's going to give it to the side into Suchek and a bit of a gap for Declan Rice who does keep the ball very well. Hammond on the overlap but it goes to Daka who's fully in front and we're going to try and get that across the middle. Decent ball. But of course, no runner with him. Which, to be fair, in that position, I wouldn't expect myself. As now Cunha gives it to the side of Declan Rice. Rice going fully out wide to Nkuku as he's going to run inside. Can he just drag this back to Suchek, who has a big chance. Had a pass in there to Declan Rice, but just couldn't get it off. Absolute domination. And Tanesi gets a tackle in there. As now Cunha to run away with this one. Gives it on to Declan Rice. Now forward to Jay Hammond as well. As Hammond is going to try and cut inside a little bit here and give it to Mateus Cunha. who's got the run of Aaron's at the side of him. We could take his chance here, but we've really got to make the most of it. As that's in the middle now to Cunha as well. Round the corner, into Daka. Great pullback, Daka over the top. He's just come back from injury and just gone to Leicester in real life, but got that one wrong. Finishing has to be a little bit better than that, mate. As now it's Mateus Cunha with the ball. He gives it to Declan Rice as Rice... Gives it to Senesi as Senesi is going to dribble inside the Argentine. Looking for a bit of a gap right here as he has got it through this one. Daka tried to put it around the corner as well straight away but just intercepted. As now Suchek. Oh, can't get it past Dyer. Now Marcus Senesi with the ball straight forward to Daka as well as Daka. Where's this guy going to go? He's going to have to cut inside a little bit. Pass it through that gap. Cunha. Oh, just intercepted again as we've got the ball anyway. Daka. 
Back with it. Can Daka try and cause some problems here? He's got the ball facing away from his net through the gap to Hammond as Hammond receives it. Going to cross in and win a corner for us. 35 minutes in. I would like a goal by now, but... Uh, I mean, they have been decent, but we do need to win this game as Declan Rice now has it. He's going to give it behind him into Senesi. Round the corner into Suchek. Daka into Mateus Cunha, and that's a poor chip. I just can't believe he haven't scored by now, but it's Jay Hammond on the ball. Has a ball through to Daka, which he pokes through. On to Cunha. Can Cunha get that in? He's missed it as well. Oh, my days. That's two big chances gone within a second. And I think at half-time it's going to be nil-nil. If they rob this game in the end, I will be absolutely fuming because the league is well and truly wide open. We need to try and get this three-point gap right now as it's into Daka. Can he take one here? He can, and we do have the goal. It's took its bloody time, but Patson Daka could be the hero in West Ham colours, which isn't really West Ham colours. It's Aston Villa in the claret and blue, but you get what I mean. It's a great goal from Patson, which could... Get us through to the title. It's one out of four so far. Still going to keep it for a half, but it's one out of four games. We need to win as many as possible as the full-time whistle goes straight away. And we are doing what we need to do. I mean, loads of possession. They've had one shot and they almost took it, so I know we've got to watch us defence. Nothing's guaranteed, especially in this save, because I thought we were going to walk the league at first, unbeaten. We got knocked out of the Europa League, knocked out of the Carabao Cup by what, who were it? Brighton, that were it. And we just bottled it as of late. So it's been an unpredictable season as Cunha's beating the defender to that one. And it's two. So there we go. We've got a bit of a cushion out of the blue straight away at the start of the second half. But we do like to score sometimes right early on in the second. As proven as it's a great little move. This swivels on it. Daka, brilliant ball through. Great touch. And to the left-hand side of Litkovic to make it 2-0. First time Dragowski's touched the ball in this game as it was a... A little P-roller to him. However, that's a bit of a dodgy one as he had to save that chip and I thought it was going to go over him. Has got chipped before, but not as much as Patrick Schubert, if anyone remembers him, as now it's Gomez into Paina. Robbed straight away. Senesi straight to Cunha as well as Mateus Cunha is going to run. Give it to the side. And Cuckoo, Cunha's got the pace to accelerate whilst he doesn't have the ball. It's a great move. Cunha hits it at the keeper and surely a penalty. Keepers took him out when the ball had gone. Bruno Guimaraes almost tackled right there from, of course, Thomas Suchek. As now it's on to Morgan Sanson as well. As we're just chasing shadows a little bit at the moment, which I kind of don't mind. We do have the lead, but I like us to have a bit of cruise control and domination in this game. As that's a weird jump from Suchek. Can he keep it in? He actually can. And he's switching it over to Daka, who's never going to get there. And why is it just clicked in my mind? Why the hell has it just clicked? Aston Villa have bloody David Alaba, a, a new Real Madrid player. How have I only just noticed that as Sanson has the ball? I must have said his name, but not took it in. As now Sanson gives the ball again to Jeremy Boga, an ex-Chelsea player. As that's not a foul referee. And 17 minutes left. Nothing's guaranteed so far. They're going to try and whip this ball. And it's going to be Jackie Grealish. On to Bruno Guimaraes. Over the top. And Dragowski just to pick that one up comfortably. As now Dragowski throws it out. Into Jay Hammond, onto Aaron's as he spins out as well. Straight onto Hammond again. And Hammond just to run down the line. It's Jay Hammond. He's got Cunha in the middle who has to score first time and does. Never missing that. Easy chance and 3 0. Feeling rather confident about the FA Cup final right now, but you know anything can change and they will be up for revenge if it stays this way. We are absolutely pummel pum pummeling them at the moment. I can't say that word. As that's just a great finish to the keepers, right? And Chris Uncuku, it's 3-0 at the moment. And Chris Uncuku has a massive gap to run into. Boga's left him. They've gone ultra attacking right now as we're just going to run at them. Pull the ball inside. We still do have it. Give it through the middle and Uncuku's wasted it a bit. But still, I don't mind as we've just got literally under five minutes left. They might get a goal because they're going for it fully. But I don't care as we've committed a foul there. And that could be a yellow card for Senesi, which I don't approve of at this moment in time. And is... But we'll just have to live with it. As Di Maria's now on the field for Aston Villa straight after our goal. And how the hell have they managed to get him and Alaba? It's great turning as well. And it's Di Maria with the shot. But completely wide. And we continue to hold our lead. We've deserved it. We've honestly deserved this win. 3-0 in the end. It should be. I'm not going to say certain so far. As Diop with a bit of a dodgy pass. But they're going all the way backwards. Four added minutes absolutely out of the blue. Because there's been no fouls or... Well, not fouls, but no injuries or anything. As Ryan Christie's now on the field as well. He's going to try and get there, there. Put the pressure on. 
But we should have the final whistle anytime soon. And there we go. 3 0. 3 0 against Aston Villa. And job done and dusted. No panic in the end from me. And I absolutely will take that. And straight after that game. Unfortunately, we don't have our lead back, but I'm still calm because, of course, we've got the game in hand. But Man United keep on winning, so we've got to keep on winning as well as we travel to the London rivals. Fulham was a bit of a rival with me in my last save, so I might actually play these over Notts Forest. I think they might have a better team in 16, so that means they've won the last game. And Senesi's late yellow card means he's suspended for it, so that's great from him. We'll just shove Guardiola in there. Could go, possibly go for a Cunha Klossman in centre-back, and Aaron's on the right, but... I'm going to go Guardiol. He hasn't played as much as I probably should have done all save, so I'll try and make it up to him a little bit here. Against Fulham. And let's have a look at this Fulham team that travelled to the London Stadium. David Ospina, decent keeper. Cedric, Congolo, Lacroix and Williams. Very experienced. Onoma and Reed. Not as much. De Frutos, Vignato and Cavalero with Martin Terrier. I think they've got a really decent defence, though, with a decent keeper. So I think they'll survive Fulham with that team, hopefully for them, but... We've got to try and stop them right now. So we've got some winning to do as Klosterman. Oh, now that is dodgy. As now Suchek picks up on it straight away into Lucas Klosterman straight away, though. Down the line into Nkudu. Whip the ball straight in. Decent one. And Cedric's panicked with the cross. Hammond's going to get this. And I thought it was a bit wasted. It was a really good whipping, but of course to no one as it fell to us somehow. No big result from it, but I'll definitely take it as now Max Aaron's. Running around the corner, good touch from Suchek, but just can't keep it there. As now it's on to Martin Terrier again. And Terrier oh, almost got a touch in it right there. Onoma forward to De Frutos as he gives it to the side into Reed. And Terrier through the middle. De Frutos again tried to slide and miss the ball as now it's on to Declan Rice straight away. And Declan Rice to run it through the middle into Mateus Cunha and Cunha through to Dakar it's round the defender Congolo turns Congolo could not get there and Dakar to try and slowly cut inside does keep it with a great touch but hits it at Lacroix defender who we looked at ourselves once of course as oh dear they could actually counter from this you know Fulham and they are going to do rather strongly but Cavalero great tackle as Terrier still has the ball and Vignato on it again as we've got to stop them coming forward Onoma Watching his man Vignato through the middle and a great tackle on Terry right there. And, oh, it's offside. Thought he'd give a pen. That did panic me as that's a good ball through as well. On to Ivan Cavalero. We've got to watch very closely. Don't let him round that corner as he's got round us a little bit here. He's pulled it back. Terrier blocked by Guardiol as Fulham are actually into this game a lot more than Villa was. I'm not panicked, but I'm a bit frustrated how we've let him into it when it's important that we win. As that's a good ball around the corner, though. Cunha with a good ball to Hammond. Great chest. Good defending. And Vignato on the ball again right here. Tackled straight away. Klosterman on to Chris and Cuckoo as we can't get that ball right now. And Reed all the way back to Lacroix as they're going to build forward again. And Fulham, I'd actually say they've been the better team at the end of this first half, although there's still plenty of time to go, which is rather panicking I want to get in and take a break with this squad because it just doesn't look up to scratch and of course we do need to win the game as that's a bad tackle on Harrison Reed and a free kick here for Fulham as they're going to whip it over the wall and Declan Rice had to get it away Jay Hammond to even run it as we've got Daka with us and they had a defender drop back but I couldn't see him so of course I didn't want to pass it with the uh, caution it could be offside as now Hammond runs inside gives a good ball into Daka great turn from Daka and he's put it wide that's a big chance. Probably could have gone close to the keeper, but I thought the technique was right. It was right, but just narrowly wide. Hit with a bit of venom, that one, as now it's on to Vignato straight away. Great tackle from Suchek straight on to Mateus Cunha again as we've got a ball through the middle. Not going to try and play it. Going to go and go around this middle where Declan Rice is arriving. Tries to chip it over the keeper. It's a great chip. Daka is it the post. He's missed the open net. I mean, it was a squeeze, but that's a big chance. And yeah, it was really hard, actually. Harder than I thought to get in. So we will let him off and motivate the boys instead of screaming at them. Once again, as we could get a chance straight away as well. Cunha, Reed does get there on the second time of asking on. And it's just gone over him. 60% possession. So we are growing into this uh, second half of the first half a little bit after they dominated. But still, not what I would have asked for as Vignato's got a good ball out to Di Fruto who was through a bit there but has cut back inside as Max Ahrens tries to block off the angle referee blow the whistle please I will gladly take half time at the moment as there we go one or 
I'm going to say 1-1. It's 0-0 at half-time at London Stadium. Possibly one of the last games at the London Stadium that we play before, of course, Forest and Liverpool. So let's try and be a bit better, boys. It does need to be better, in my opinion, as Declan Rice gives it straight into Jay Hammond. Round the corner, Mateus Cunha through there again. As he said, Diop lays this off to Suchek now. And Declan Rice has Hammond around him. He's onside. We do like to score straight after half-time. And Hammond's put it in with a curling shot into the back post. I thought that was wide. But Jay Hammond has other ideas as we lead against Fulham. Great finish that one. Really didn't expect that to go in. Declan Rice, beautiful pass. Peach of a through ball and bang. David Ospina, of course, should be doing better at his near post. But Jay Hammond's quality just shines through. And Josh Onema, Fulham doing decent in this second half. There's now Terrier Havitt, of course, where he scored the goal. So they are going to come out of the shell a little bit. They've kept it for a while as Terrier can't put that around the corner again. And now we're in. Really dreadful back pass out as Terry has a chance to turn and shoot, but Guardiol, what a chance. That's two he's made in the box, which have been inch perfect. Really have been as Daka needs to win that header as well, but Congolo away. And Klosterman jumping up for that header, wins it as Mateus Cunha gets one backwards. I will take that. It wasn't where he wanted it, but it did go to one of our players as tackled straight away afterwards, though, as Blass turns out into Harrison Reed and Reed. Oh, roughly tackled by Suchet. That ain't a good one, as it's a bit of an edgy second half since the goal. Very edgy indeed. And Blas with the ball right here as he gets to the side into De Frutos around the corner. Cedric. Cedric Suarez as De Frutos is actually through here. Can we get a tackle in? Oh, it's a great interception from Acuna, who's just come off the bench a quick sub because Diop is very tight at the moment. Thought I'd regret that, but what a interception from Acuna. That could have... Potentially one as the league as it stands. Yeah, that important as Hammond has the ball right now into Daka. We've got the run from Suchek who's stopped as Cunha's making the run around anyway and Lacroix to stop it. The Frenchman who we was really close to signing as this is a chance though. Cunha turns out a little bit. Needs to try and get this shot off. Does step to the side and Ospina with a dramatic and magical save for Fulham to keep them alive for three more minutes. Hopefully not enough though as Brennan Williams does put a good header out wide though. To Wesley now on, and that's the tall striker, I think, because he puts a terrible pass in. I think it was Harrison Reed in the end, but still added time just to be added on right now. And another four minutes, which I don't have a clue where it's come from. It should not be four minutes as Wesley. Great tackle, Guardiol. Joska, keep getting at him, Joska Guardiol. Keep putting the pressure on us, Defrutos into Wesley, we've literally got less than a minute and Wesley's through a bit here, Aaron's has to get in front, Aaron's has to clear this ball, Aaron's doesn't and it's wide, it's a big waste from the big man, but really really bad from Max Aaron's, he will not be punished on this day, we will just keep the confidence up, we will just keep the ball rolling as we are halfway there, it's another West Ham win, three points ahead and that means if we win this next game, which we could possibly do, we can win the league. I actually, no, we can't mathematically win it. We can, we can basically win it. We can get three points ahead of Manchester United, including, um, what's it called, goal difference, which we're like eight or seven ahead. So we should be fine if Man United lose this game. Even if they win it, we should be fine because we still should be three points ahead of them going into the last one where if we beat Liverpool, we win the league. It is a huge game though because if we do lose this, and then we're going to Liverpool away at the end of the episode. We are really in a bit of a rut. But Liverpool dropping points at the moment. Only on 80 points. As we're going to go with the same team, of course. Due asking us questions. But, mate, you've survived. You've actually survived almost five seasons in. So, you're doing really well for yourselves. So don't ask to play. You're going to get a medal at the end. I'm going to leave the club going to Pestures New. As we do get the very, very narrow win against Nottingham Forest. It's Timothy Way with the first goal. Cunha replies. They were actually in front. And then we were in front, Cunha missing out on a hat-trick, getting a brace but missing a pen, as Timothy Weyer levelled it up. But Declan Rice, the academy player possibly winning as the league. What a big moment that is, Ayers. We could, we could win it off screen, you know. We've both played 37 games, we are on 90 points at the moment, and I hope Man United don't play on the Saturday. That would absolutely ruin it. I think everyone does play on the same time at the end of the season, don't they? Yeah, adds for a good finale, a bit of spice in it. So let's just get... At least a point against Liverpool and we've won the league. At least a point. Third place, I will walk you through the team again. Potential league winners team. Hopeful league winners teams. As it's Dragalski, Klosterman, Diop. Not Guardiol, unfortunately, because Sines is going to come back in. Sorry, Guardiol. Aaron's Rice, Suchek, Chris and Cuckoo, Mateus Cunha, Jay Hammond and Patson Dakar up front. 
Let's get that trophy. And I was wrong. He's out of the Liverpool travelling to us. But I'm going to white your first team. Drakowski, Klosterman, Diop, Cersei and Irons. We're going to do it again just to look at it. Suchet, Declan Rice, and Cuckoo, Cunha and Hammond with Pats and Daki. You never get to see that graphic from our side. Of course, our team. We've got two players on yellows. Hopefully no suspensions in this big, big game. As now it's Alisson in goal for Liverpool. They've got Neko, Williams, Bastoni, Van Dijk and Robertson. Kept us two same centre-backs. Sabitzer, Fabinho and Awa with Salah, Jota and Mane. I think we're both guaranteed top four. Well, I'm definitely are. I don't know about Liverpool, but they, they should be on 80 points. I think they are safe because Aston Villa last time I checked were on like 68, I think. So, yeah, should be both top four at the end of the season, both Champions League next year. But, of course, we're not doing another year of this save, I don't think, unless you guys really want it. And we're just going to try and enjoy ourselves. We're just going to try and enjoy ourselves to try and win the league. So, no pressure. Take that out of the game because players don't usually thrive on it. We get knocked out, should I say, every single round of the uh, Continental Trophy we've been in in the knockout so let's just try and enjoy it try and play with no pressure as now Thomas Suchet with the ball straight away and he's going to go around the corner into Cunha who've kept the ball well at the start of this half as they've got a man down and just passed it around the man down this could be an advantage towards us Dakar arrives to head it past Allison early on in this game it'll be controversial but it's not controversial that we deserve to win this league we've been the best team by far out of the 20 and we do have the lead right now at the London Stadium courtesy of the man who's just gone to Leicester of course but our main man assisted by our youth player Hammond Patson Dakar to head it past Alisson early on. There'll be absolute scenes after that one, I can definitely guarantee you in Stratford, of course in London, everywhere where West Ham fans are located, as Diego Jota with the chance straight away, and Klosterman getting a good tackle in. I want redemption in this final game from him. I just picked him over a Cunha as well, because of course played in the last game and has got us most of the way towards the Premier League title, as Dakar's through again here, you know, passing Dakar. Great save. Dragonski to throw this out straight away into Suchet. Tried to get it around the corner of Anthony Robertson. Onto Fabinho in the middle right now. So you can tell our game is not over just yet as Diego Jota around the corner again. Liverpool are still trying. So I've got to be wary a bit about that as now Aaron's with the ball drilling into midfield. I think Liverpool actually want us to win as well to stop the rivals from winning the league. As Cunha's through, he's got the sweaty of Dakar on again, who's tapped in home. It could be done and dusted already now. No guarantees, but hopefully Man United somewhere is struggling and we are cruising 2-0. I've known it for some time. If it were truly down to this game and Man United were winning and I knew that and we did win like a game before and we're both level on points, then it would be more exciting. But... From December, I thought, we're, we're going to do this. We've got the power. Bill Taylor would be proud of us for that, as now it's on to, well, he's going to get there. Is Declan Rice as it's through to Suchek right now, and he turns out as we've got a run through the middle in Cunha, and he could get another one here. No, he hasn't scored yet, has he? And could have sweated it to Dakar for a hat-trick. Bit selfish. Still, to be the top scorer in the league, you've got to be selfish at some time, so I won't blame him for that, as now Mane chips it straight over us into Bastoni, as Bastoni... Back again himself into Robertson and Robertson round the corner into Mane. So we've got to keep on defending. It's Mane now across to Robertson and we're just chasing the ball a little bit. Like I said in the Villa game, don't mind if it leads to a winner. Fabinho now to the side of him into Miguel Sabitzer. Liverpool putting it on a bit. Diego Jota who tries to turn out and gets a ball through to our as it's saved from Dragowski. Oh dear, they've started to play football where you oh yeah, where you expect them to play in, of course, our half and how you expect them to play. So we need to get away a bit more comfortably, please. Come on, there we go. Klosterman, get on that. You've got pace for a defender. As Nico Williams beats him to it. That's a bit dodgy and suspicious. Wants Liverpool to win Klosterman. You're not doing that well in a West Ham shirt. We've still got time added on. It's Virgil van Dijk tried to put a tackle in right there. As Awa into Jota. Great tackle as Rice down the line as well. But that is half over 2-0 we've just got to not concede three goals a draw will do it for us not concede three goals even then i think we'll win the league because they won't be doing too well somewhere as hammond the great little spin out right there does keep hold of the ball gets it out to declan rice round the corner and we've got a chance to drive at them again as mateus cunha now round the corner robertson can't get there and how some hour in the middle diego shot it onto Sabitza right now as Declan Rice oh, almost got that rare as Fabinho now onto Sabitza again and Sabitza gives it to Diogo Jota as Diogo Jota turns us inside out oh, and Dragowski with a shot 
Oh, I thought that was in again as it's still turned on. I'm getting excited at everything now. I said in the first half I'd not be that excited. It's kicking in as Mohamed Salah with the ball into the box. And Mane has just missed that. We are holding on. Just need to hold on a little bit longer as now Max Aaron's just running down this line, mate. You've got plenty of space. You've got the freedom of the world. Keep on going, Max Aaron's. Keep on going, Aaron's. Keep on going, Max. As you haven't got many goals, shoot yourself. And it's just wide. Another goal will just make this complete, won't it? We've beaten Liverpool in almost every game recently as well. So we are doing well against these siders. We've got a chance here. Cunha, top scorer in the league, has to get a goal. It's a bit overcooked. Onto Hamid, who should win this second header and does. Onto Suchek. Now, I don't mind him scoring. I'm just thinking of the players who can score. So, of course, Dak has got two. But I want to share the wealth around a little bit as we literally have 19 minutes left. We should be Premier League champions. Maxi had a dream. We can sing that song around the stadium. Now, champions of England, you will never sing that, will you? As now it's over the top to Aaron's again. As he's put a dodgy touch in there. And Necker Williams has played a blinder today. He's been sensational. Don't expect that from the Welshman as... We are still holding on a little bit. At least he hasn't assisted us in this game. As that's a foul off the ball. Nothing given. Suchek took out. As what a tackle from behind on Thiago. But the referee is going to give it. And that's just a shame. If they score from this to ruin our... Or just dampen our parade a little bit. I'm going to be a bit fuming. Because I don't think that was a foul. Suchek get out of the wall. As it's going to be a Robertson and Van Dijk over it. It's going to be... Robbo to hit and straight in the head of Hammond. Corner ball as well as the top scorer will come off to a standing ovation, surely. Scored the most goals in the Prem and lifted us to the title as now Ryan Christie comes onto the field. As Liverpool have got a bit of a fumble round in this box. Thiago onto Salah. They've got a bit of a chance now, but Aaron's with the tackle and we can just speed away. You know, it's Aaron's round the corner. Get there first, Christie. What a tackle, Ryan Christie. He's done it for himself. Chance to make it three and win the Premier League title with three goals. Ryan Christie does it and he deserves it. He's never been fully in the squad. But he has won us the Premier League, not by himself, of course. We should have already done it in this game. But he's done it through grit and determination. And he will be buzzing with that off the bench and gets a goal when he should be getting his medal as well. 3-0. Making the changes right now as Jonathan David tackled there. And he ain't give a free kick to them again. I say he's wanting them to score just to get a goal because he's a Liverpool fan. He's a Liverpool fan in disguise. He's from... He's from uh, wherever it is. Where, where is it? It's Scouse now. Oh, Liverpool. Yeah, li just Liverpool. So I'm, I'm losing my mind right now. As I thought Liverpool's in a county. It really isn't, is it? As now we've got a ball over. It is, but I don't know which one at the moment because my brain is not there. I'm just looking at this clock. I can't remember a thing. I can't remember what I did yesterday. I can't remember what I ate before this video because I don't care. The fans are up. The London Stadium is going mental. Yes, the London Stadium. I don't know why I said that as well. As all the fans are on, the, the players with the bibs, the players are celebrating. Declan Rice, the West Ham boy who's got bids from Bayern, Chelsea, Tottenham, PSG, stayed with the Iron, or Irons, and now will be lifting the trophy in his boyhood colours. Look at this. It means the world to the Claret and Blue Army. The best Claret and Blue Army in, of course, all of England. Aston Villa will put up a fight in future seasons in this save, and of course... With the history they have, of course, as a club, as we're going to watch them lift it. We've got all the substitutes already up there. We've got the players coming on. Oh, lovely, lovely banners on that trophy right there. Gold and silver. Beautiful. As Suchek's right there. He he deserves it. Everyone deserves it. Klosterman, even though I've hated you most at times, you deserve it. Came into the squad and, of course, still won games. Dragowski, everyone. Declan Rice the most, though. He stayed with us and puts that trophy in the sky as it is confirmed as soon as it is lifted over his shoulders. West Ham United are Premier League winners. We've done our job. We've done our job. A big trophy with West Ham in four seasons. We've done it. I will fully, fully take that. The 2023-24 seasons completed right here as we're not going to watch any much more of it. We got dominated a bit on possession, but I don't care. Job done and dusted. Don't have a clue what the score was at Manchester United, but it's not over until it's actually over, because of course I said this is the penultimate episode. A really good way to end out the season, winning the Premier League, but we have an FA Cup final to play. Aston Villa are up next. As have the players gone up ratings after winning? Not really any I see, but I'll take it. I'll fully take it. As yes, guys, I don't know what more I can say after that. 
Thank you guys for watching. Of course, like, comment, share, and subscribe with the notification bell on as well so you do not miss a trick in the future. Sorry the, ep uh, the episodes have been a bit sparse lately. I've been celebrating England's win. I've been oh, getting stuff done, been working, been driving as well, been driving a little bit. So let's drop my pen, go into the next episode and wrap it up. If you want another season, make sure you get your voices heard down below. But if not, and if the majority is for a next season, make sure you vote which team you want next, as I will be putting a video up very shortly on that. Stay safe in a bit, and peace.